Lagos, Nigeria, a city where dreams and hope are met with expectation. Every day, the residents are stepping out in their numbers, hoping to have a very productive day. Through their faces, you could see the need for an improved infrastructure. I'm currently at the BRT lane. Up here, look here. From here, it's coming from Oshodi. Right here, it's coming from Oshodi. As you can see, traffic is not flowing at this lane because the BRT is not on this lane. Watch here, look here. Look at the BRT. As you can see, they are applying the same uh, lane with other vehicles. Why? This other lane is still work in progress, right? So let's go around to see what they've accomplished on the BRT corridor. A good road infrastructure remains a key player in the city development. Lagos, Nigeria is currently one of the fast growing cities in Africa with a huge number of population and fast growing economy in Africa. Looking at how the government of the city is working so hard to improve the road infrastructure of the city. Hi guys, this is the Ikeja Corridor. So let's explore what the government is doing here on the BRT Corridor here at Ikeja. Before now, when this thing was uh, being constructed, here used to be the BRT lane. But with this pedestrian bridge, they have to shift the BRT. The BRT and other commercial vehicles and other private vehicles now, they have to apply the same lane on the Lagos Abiokuta Express. As you can see, traffic here is terrible, like it's, it's, it's on the high side. If there isn't train on this corridor, traffic, the, the traffic uh, is something else here. It's only the train that is more convenient right now on this corridor. But with this BRT lane being constructed, it will, it will provide easy movement for the BRT and uh, separating the BRT from other commercial and private uh, vehicles applying the Lagos and Delkuta Express. So I want to see, so I want to see the progress they've made so far on this particular section of the project because this is one of the places where the BRT, or one of the reasons why, why, why BRT don't apply their, their, their corridor here on the um, Lagos Abiokuta Express. So I want to see how much they've made and what they did here. Like, what they did here is it's, it's mind blowing. And I, 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 can't wait to, I, can't wait to, I can't wait to show you around and for you to see what they've accomplished here on the Abiokuta Express. Right? It's going to be a very detailed and well documented uh, experience for both of us. So, come with me and uh, let's explore the Ikeja Corridor on the Lagos Ayukuta Express. I remember your boy, OZ. BRT is a bus rampy transit scheme owned and managed by Lagos State Government through her agency, Lamata, Lagos Metropolitan Area Transport Authority. Through this agency, Lagos State Government has been effective in managing and regulating her public transportation. The BRT buses in different areas of states move thousands of passengers moving across these states. In most cases, they have their dedicated lane in most of the routes they apply. 
Our concentration will be solidly on the Lagos Abiokuta Express, seeing the improvement made on the BRD lane and other alternative routes created to ease traffic movement. Guys, this is such an amazing one because personally, when I came here myself, I felt like, what's going on here? Why are they blocking the BRT lane? But with what I'm seeing, I must say, I am super impressed with their initiative. Let me take you further to see what, what they've done here. And you, I, I believe you, you'll be impressed. Come. way for the construction of the Keja Pedestrian Bridge. The operations of the BRT running towards Ushodi to Abu Legba down to Ogun State has been affected because some portion of the lane is blocked off and this has caused the BRT to operate with other commercial and private vehicles and the experience of the BRT has not been that swift as supposed. This particular section has a demarcation. Oh, this is the second lane. Why did you use the first lane? Guys, this is BRT lane. Right here, we have the first lane here. As you can see, right there, this is the first lane. And this is the second lane of the BRT. As you can see, they're all work in progress. So now, let me explain what's going on here. Right here before, like this place used to be the BRT lane. Now they have this pedestrian bridge constructed here for the uh, train station. As you can see, it's sending traffic, it's sending pedestrians to the train station. That's the Ikeda train station. That, that's it there. And right, right, right now, they have to extend further to the first lane on the Lagos, uh, Lagos Abiokuta Express. So, as you can see, they have to cut part of it to make up the first lane of the, BR, of the BRT right here as you can see so let me make, let me explain something to you now the first lane of the BRT lane part of it is getting from the first lane of the Lagos Abiokita Express as you can see they will put a, 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 um, a step ties here so they cut off these parts they, they cut off they, they cut off these parts this part from the from the road and they are constructing the so this is the process of which the people are put out about from here. So, it goes beyond. I don't know. The BRT bus shelter is currently under construction right here at the Keja station, train station. So, this will send passengers to the train station or bring passengers to the train station. So, this is one of the things going on here, too. Right here, this will be the BRT uh, station where passengers will actually alight right here or board the BRT from here. So it's it's under construction, as you can see. And this is the first lane of the BRT. Why this is the second lane under construction? So let me show you another thing under going the Kenja, on here. Too. Overpass bridge. They are constructing an alternative route, alternative road for vehicles that can either use the bridge or use under the bridge to also assess the, the second lane of the Lagos Abiokuta Express to connect back to Ikeja along. I'll walk you through to see what they've done in that section. So guys, this is another impressive thing happening here. Traffic can either flow on the Ikeja overpass 
As you can see, yeah, you usually have a lot of traffic in the evening uh, at the peak hour. So when this is uh, completed, they actually made an alternative. They actually made an alternative route for vehicles coming from Oshodi to actually navigate through under, under the bridge instead of passing through the Ikeja overpass bridge. So as you can see, this is uh, one of the biggest uh, innovation happening here. So alternatively, instead of using the overpass bridge, you can actually apply this this this, this is an alternative route heading towards Ikeja along. So let's see what they accomplish on this particular pedestrian bridge. It's so impressive, guys. This will actually reduce the uh, amount of traffic flow on the bridge. At the peak hour, the bridge usually have a lot of traffic in the evening. So this will actually help, you know, bring down the traffic on that on that bridge. So vehicles that are actually going to Yenagyanapaja, going to Abekuta, can actually apply this this alternative route instead of going through the bridge. You know, this will strengthen and. Uh, give easy navigation on the Keja corridor so this is uh, what this side look like they, they have an, an on, they have an underground uh, drainage system there so and as you can see that's the BRT stand and the BRT corridor right there And this is how much they've achieved on this. Like, they're making sure they utilize every piece of space they have here and you know, putting it, putting it in, into a very good use. In the next uh, two or three months, traffic will actually be flowing on this section of the road. Sending traffic on the Lagos uh, Abekuta Express. It's really impressive what they've done here. Alright, so as you can see, this is how the road is looking like. So, actually, not all vehicles can actually apply this particular section because look, look at this sharp corner. So you have to take smaller vehicles. And as you can see, it's still work in progress. They are currently constructing this road down to Ikeja along. So this is it guys, it's really impressive what they've done here. So this is the, proc the procedure for constructing this demarcation. They are constructing both the BRT lane and this access road simultaneously. So they are going down there. To see what I'm doing. So the defense will have to bring this in down. Okay. So as you can see, guys, the road is still under construction at this section. So this is the Assage Road. And this is the second lane and the first lane of the BRC lane. And uh, it's tending further down to Ikeja along. So that's where I'm walking down to right now to see all right, what that section is looking like. So you can see, this particular section is paved. All right? So this is what is obtainable right here at the Ikeja train station. So,
right here traffic is connecting back to the, the descending section of the bridge and this is what it looked like this is a keja along Basically, I want to believe you now have an idea of what is going on here on the bridge and this is why the BRT has not been applying her corridor. But I want to believe um, two, three months time, this video was shot in November 2024. So in 2025, January, February, this road should be completed and traffic will be flowing on the BRT corridor. And this will actually give, you know, that BRT experience again on this corridor. As you all know, the BRT is well organized at this corridor. They have different bus stations at different bus stops, all from Oshodi down to Abulegba and to Ogun State and more to be done, which I'll be giving you an update on as we make progress on this. Thank you for coming far with me on this part of the video. I would like to get your feedback. What do you think about this project? What are your contributions? What are your thoughts? Let us know them in the comment section. I remain your boy, OZ. Please don't just watch and go. If you find my content useful and informative, just subscribe to the channel and part of this awesome family. Nova plays a bigger role as a content creator and I would love to have you in my channel as a channel mem as a channel member all right just click that subscribe button and support the journey in your own best way as possible clearly this project is work in progress and i'll be giving you updates as we make progress on the job <laughs>